Hi, this is uh, Rackhold Pronto Instant Geyser. Uh, pretty much the story that you want to see out here is the same for all geysers over a period of time. This was last serviced about two years ago and uh, there's a whole lot of salt and minerals in the water which tend to accumulate inside the tank which reduce the efficiency of the tank over a period of time. Uh, it reduces the, the capacity as well as the heating time taken uh, increases. You can even hear the salt remaining inside this if I just shake it for you. You can hear some water inside and also a whole lot of salt. We shall open this and see what the situation inside. I was planning to service this without really opening it but considering the amount of salt that seems to be accumulated inside I will have no option but to uh, open it and then service it. Before trying to open this uh, you have to ensure that most of the water is uh, drained out. Uh, it's difficult considering the amount of salt that's inside but try to get the water as much as possible out and then work on a surface that you don't mind getting wet. You just need a star screwdriver and open the small screw right on top and there is another screw down here as well so we need to open both of them. I've managed to open both the screws and let's open it to see the insulation inside. I'll just remove the LEDs, lights and from the casing so that that goes separate. You need to also open the two screws out here which I have loosened because these secure the casing which I'll just show you in a moment this is the insulation you see how hot it has got inside these screws go in behind and hold on the entire geyser well I have got rid of the insulation and the casing and now you will be able to hear the sound of the sandy residue inside there is water and residue the next step is to open these nuts and separate the electrical part from the casing using a spanner which you should be able to do fairly easily. The next step is to remove all these nuts from the top end of the keep the nuts and the washers safely aside and then we shall see what's inside this I managed to remove all the nuts from the top and I'm going to separate the and show you what's inside you see the amount of coating that you have here and this is not slimy but it is hard and on and here as well inside I'll show you once again after disposing of whatever water is inside I'm going to show you what's inside this there is also this kind of residue inside So the next part of the process is very simple. You take regular synthetic vinegar. Uh, it says uh, I think four to five percent concentration. That should be good enough. You just pour it into this container.
invert the coil into it and leave it for say one to two days your geyser will be as good as new that's about 1.4 liters uh, I think I would need another 1.4 liters another two bottles do it just dip it into this solution and leave it in the corner of your bathroom or wherever without it being touched or tipped over after submerging the coil in the vinegar solution for about 48 hours most of the deposits that you would have seen earlier would have dissolved uh, there might still remain some stubborn deposits which you might want to dislodge using a sharp object gently filing it and then if you want a better result uh, you can immerse it in the vinegar solution for another 24 hours as you can see uh, there is still some deposits remaining here inside but that's much less than what was earlier this should be good enough to improve the efficiency of the geyser again you can rinse the components with fresh water and wipe it with the sponge to dry it up uh, before assembling the final product